It seems a lot like Niantic just broke Fast Catch in some way. If true, this is a disaster for serious Pokemon Go players, as this technique is needed to achieve a high catch rate, especially during events like Spotlight Hours and Community Days. There's been a massive change introduced in the 0.327.0 update, and the internet has noticed, with numerous posts on the Silk Road subreddit discussing the issue. First, let's fill in some context for those of you less familiar with Fast Catch. If you already know about Fast Catch and just want to learn what happened with this update, skip to the time shown on the screen or use the chapter markers. In a previous video, I showed the massive improvement in catch time that Fast Catch provides. In short, without Fast Catch, catching as fast as possible, each catch takes about 19 seconds. With Fast Catch, catching as fast as possible, each catch takes about 5.5 seconds. Fast Catch is over three times faster, which means that with Fast Catch, a player is able to catch more than three times as many Pokemon in a given period of time. As a quick review, here's how to fast catch for my previous video. The basic idea is to use the non-dominant hand's thumb to hold down the berry or ball selection icon. Then, with the dominant hand, throw the ball. Once it's in the air, swipe with the thumb on the icon to open the item or ball selection screen. Immediately dismiss the screen by tapping anywhere outside of it. This will result in a bugged UI, where most of the UI is still visible, when normally it is hidden during a throw. Most importantly, the flea icon in the top left is visible and usable. Once the ball hits the Pokemon, tap the visible flea icon in the upper left, and you will instantly be returned to the map screen. It turns out that the game decides whether you have caught a Pokemon at the instant your throw lands, so there is no need to watch the full catch animation, or click through the XP and Pokemon screens. So, has Niantic actually broken Fast Catch? Yes and no. Fast Catch definitely still works on 0.327.0. Here's some footage showing it working successfully during Beldum Community Day on 0.327.0. But, Fast Catch seems to randomly fail in many cases that it didn't previously. Here are some examples of Fast Catch failing when it should otherwise succeed. In slow motion, we can see that I first hold the menu button, then throw, then swipe the menu, but the menu doesn't open. So what's going on? The most visible change in 0.327.0, and the one first noticed by the community, is that the menu buttons now move in all directions when swiped, rather than only left to right. It's not immediately obvious why this would affect Fast Catch, but after reading community theories and doing my own tests, I now have a theory. I believe that the issue involves the exact angle at which you swipe the finger on the menu button. In this demonstration on 0.327.0, we see that the menu only opens when the menu button is swiped with a horizontal or slightly upward gesture. If the angle is downward, then the menu does not open. We can reproduce this when holding the Pokeball as well, showing that at some swipe angles, fast catch is possible, and at some downward swipe angles, fast catch is not possible. We contrast this with an earlier version, where we see that swiping downwards still opens the menu. I'm still not convinced this is the complete explanation since there still seems to be some inconsistency in fast catch working or not working, even taking into account swipe direction. However, it's a place to start for trying to change your technique to keep fast catching. This problem feels like a bug, and I think it's possible, though maybe not likely, that we'll see a fix appear in an upcoming version of the game. Let me know in the comments if you found fast catch more difficult since the 0.327.0 patch, and if you found any other explanations for the change. Thanks for watching the excellent Pokédex. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.